Hello. All right. Well, let's kick this thing off correctly. Welcome back to Night in the Woods. This here is Cardlin. Cardlin's about to play some Night in the Woods. Um, I forget what happened last time. Other than I super embarrassed myself in front of Cole. I think his name was Cole. Which was like my only boyfriend ever. And he was super cool and he was super chill. And I super embarrassed myself and got drunk and threw up and made a total asshole out of myself. And my family's Filipino. That's all I remember about this game. And I'm a cat. A cat named May. Oh, right. We were just in this mall. That's my friend B. And oh, that's loud. That's loud, right? We were in this rip-off version of Hot Topic, and yeah, we pickpocketed stuff because I'm a total bad influence, and I got her to almost pickpocket stuff as well. All right, well, it's loud for me. I'm going to turn it down. All right. So B's like, oh, why did I do that? You did so well, B. I call the cops on shoplifters at my own store. This. What did you get? Some kind of necklace thing? Nice, nice. Oh god. Forget it, we're home free. Really? Yeah, we're like out in open waters now. I feel kinda sick. Let's walk it off. Hey, doing a little walkie walks. Walking makes stuff better. Wow, I completely forgot about this giant fish head. Oh my god, I loved her. Did you ever come to the summer days thing here? Yeah, I did like squirt people. I still have no idea how they did that. I always assumed it was some guy in there with a squirt gun. No, it was totally a fountain they tricked out to squirt people. That's amazing. Haha. <laughs> you know the walkway up there? Past the upper food court thing? Up in the atrium? The what? The ceiling. The glass part that points up. Yeah? When I was a kid, I thought that's where God lived. Wow. I don't know. I just remember staring at it when I was a kid. Like eating a burger and trying to see if I could see God. Like peeking over or something. Looks like they got some weird hanging art up there now. Which looks conveniently spaced out for a jumping puzzle, which I'll probably have to do later. I want to Go up and see? Nah, uh, my knees are killing me from work. Oh, always a pleasure talking to you, B. Oh, I forgot the buttons. You up for eating? Let's check out the rest of the mall first. Work up an appetite. I was kind of hungry when we got here. Alright, well, if you want to eat, let's eat. Yeah, let's eat. Okay. I expected more excitement. Mall food court dinner. Oh, what a feeling. See, that wasn't hard. Guys and girls out there, everyone out there, don't be a bee. Don't be the disenchanted, like, forever burnt out, no hope in anything person. You're, first off, you're way too young to be so hopeless. Second off, it's, it's such a bummer hanging around that person all the time. I don't know, I mean, if that's who you are, then be you. But, you know, I mean, realize that the world is more than just you and your sadness. You know? What did you get? You inhaled it before I got a look. B, 
pizza taco from Gopher. Gopher is some food, gar some good garbage food. Yeah, I wish we'd get one in town. Ooh, that would be bad for me. It'd be worth it. Don't be B. That's right. Hashtag don't be B. I'm a rain cloud and no one understands me. What? <sighs> Remember when Kathy Domenko pulled out Cindy Clark's nose ring here? You know what that was about, right? Wasn't Kathy pregnant with... What was his name? Ah, football guy. Ron Boonstra. I didn't know you knew about that. Well, I mean, there was the first football game of our senior year, and Ron ran up to the sideline and yelled at the stands, My first touchdown's for my beautiful firstborn and his mommy, Kathy Domenko. That's... something. Kathy was in marching band and she was crying, I think. And then he dumped her for Cindy a week later. Oh yeah, see, that's the part I know about. That's what set off the whole nose ring situation. I wonder what happened to Cindy. I imagine she got a new nose ring. Or, conversely, never wanted a nose ring ever again. You know what the worst part of this story is? The sordid high school drama? At the time, I was like, God moves things around in the strangest ways to bring two people together. I don't know if I even believe in God. Same, really. Thinking about this place, the fountain on the God walkway and stuff, not knowing how something worked used to seem like... magic. <laughs> now not knowing means it might be going wrong and I may not be able to fix it. Help knowing someone was at the controls, you know? Now I'm just tired all the time from the shop. When I was at school... Yeah? I uh, don't even want to talk about it. What happened, anyway? Uh... You want to run around the mall some more? Uh... There's not really much else to run around. We can check out the weird bed art upstairs. I want to touch it. Please don't... I want to run. You run. I'm going to sit her. I'm tired and sad now. Suit yourself. Yeah, yeah. Let's go cause some mischief and do some crimes. Hello, Birdman. Nope. Stealing some music. What a mess. I can't believe this place even has the lights on anymore. Hooray! Nope. What are we all talking about? You all talking about mom and uh, stuff? By the way, thanks everybody for showing up. Thanks for all for coming out here. Ooh, balance on the thing. Thanks to uh, Ami and Lexi for um, doing the moderation thing as per always. Oh, what did I say about the jumping thing? Oh, look, it's God! Oh, wow. Who's this? Hehehe. Hee hee. Ha 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 Fantastic. Whoa, hey. Oh, the I'm the fish. Hit the person. I'm not good at this. Bonk, yes. 
Hit the person again. Boop. Boop. Yeah, yeah. Boop. Oh! Double. Triple. <laughs> yes! Boop. Boop. Oh, I can't even see what B is saying. I'm so intent on ruining these people's days. Blarp. Blarp. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, stop it. I'm going to die. Ha, 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 In a way, I love B. Blip. Bloop. Blarp. Yeah, yeah. Blarp. <laughs> Beatrice Santello. Oh, it's me. Ha! Ah, don't give them our names. Beatrice Jones. Oh wow, is that you, God? Yes. Oh yes, it is I, God Stevenson. I didn't know you had a last name. Silence, mortal. Through my fish monster, I have lain waste to your kind. Not oh, hello, Milo. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty magical. Silence, I shan't say it again. You and your good and noble companion shall get ice cream on the way home. Ah, uh, yeah, I should probably get out of her. Ah, uh, before you're arrested. Ah, ha, ha, ha. The cops shall be confused and stuff and beat each other up. For I am God and I hate the cops. Okay, okay. Get down her. Have a good one, mortal. Yeah, that was Milo in the background. He's a little hyped today. Because it's not sticking to the man. The man isn't going to lose anything here. But she will get in a lot of trouble. She's just a cog in a much bigger machine, huh? Sure, whatever. Return the shit. Okay, okay, I'm going. Hi. Hello. You're back. Oh, you're, you're back. Yeah, we stole some shit. Here is that shit. We don't want you to get in trouble with your boss. It's not your fault the world is like it is. What? Uh, I don't have a voice for it. What? You stole this? You're just a cog in a much bigger machine. To blame you would be like blaming a thing inside a whole thing. So you yeah, return and stole the merchandise. One day, folks like you are going to overthrow the whole thing. What whole thing? <laughs> Voices, that's the worst voice. The whole thing. We're living. Stay strong, you beautiful dreamer. You have nothing to lose but your chains. What? That was the, that was the worst voice. This place used to be something. I mean, it's still something. Nah, just a big, mostly empty thing. And a big, mostly empty parking lot. Well, you work with what you have. Let's never come here again. Don't have to confront me. I only come here because you wanna ta. Well, Fort Lucen used to be something. Now Fort Lucen's over. Let's go. Let it die and burn. Let it die. I want to drive on the way home. No. <laughs> Sorry. I don't like B. I don't know if that's if I made that obvious enough. Oh, yay, new drawing. Bandit Queens of the Fort Lucerne Mall. All hail the Bandit Queens. All right. 
Sup, Dad. Heard you had a wild time last night. I didn't drink. It works better if you let me accuse you first. Right. Here's my hangover cure. Not drinking the night before. Ha! Wow. Hold on. Let me write that down. It's complicated, I know. Let's talk to that again. What did you do tonight? Went out with B. You have a good time? Yeah, she's kind of... I don't know. Huh? Like, she's older. Like, much older. And kind of... Sad? Well, she's been through a lot, huh? Yeah. I'll talk to that again. Hey, Dad, would you mind moving the boxes in the crawl space? Yes. Well, what have you done for me lately, huh? Been an excellent daughter. That doesn't count. Well, would you watch some TV with me? Yeah, for a little bit. Hop up. I'm watching Garbo and Maloy. <laughs> nice. Chill time with the Poppy Pops. Welcome back, folks. Hey, you're here tonight. Hey, Maloy. Yes, Garbo? Ever get the feeling that disaster's right around the corner? Sure do, right before we start the show every night. Yay. Is there potential somewhere? Not anymore. What happened? I've broken every mirror I've ever owned. And now I'm lucky enough to ever have to look at this mug. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, but what about the rest of us? What? That's a whopper. <laughs> Coming up next, Garbo and I join a cult. All right. Quality TV time with the old man. Well, that was horrible. Are you going to move the thing? Now that I, I did the Garbo and the Malloy, I'll triple jump for you. I know you like it when I triple jump. You didn't automatically, magically do it, father of lies. Alright, let's check the computer and go to sleepy sleeps. Hey, cool mall times. Pretty cool mall times, yes. Oh, we didn't make too much of a mess with the fountain. Who's way? I was merely sitting there when I was assaulted with mall water. I will not rest until that fountain is brought to justice. Tell the world. Oh, oh my God! Oh, Milo agrees. Whoa, whoa! Tell the world my story. They must know. Okay, I'm going to sleep. I hope the nightmares aren't too horrible. It's a trauma I shall bear forever. What does Gerg say? Hey, hey, dude. What did you do tonight? Nothing much. Stole something. For Angus. It's a surprise. Wow, what is it? Hold on for a sec. Ah, oh, crap. I gotta go. Talk to you later. Okay, weirdo, you okay? Okay, so Gerg is definitely in jail. Now, most importantly, let's see what's up with your boy, Sharkle. Ah, Sharkle, you make my life complete. Alright, well, let's sleepy sleeps. Good time? Yes, time. Yeah. Sleep time.
I get to have weird, violent dreams again. Last time I slept, I had this weird, violent dream where I, like, just beat up this whole... Yes! Where is my bat? Ooh. Ooh. Spooky. So I'm supposed to go that direction, so let's see what's in this direction. Oh my god. What is that? It's a person. Even Dreamy knows how the triple jump. Okay, so this keeps on going. So let's see what's over there. I hope it doesn't end the dream if I talk to that person. You want to see the puppers? I don't know if I've ever... I don't think I've ever shown a picture of the puppers. I don't think I can. What is it? That's not a person? It's a sign or something? Okay. Well, let's see if I can magically go over here. Yes, I can... Yes, I can. Yes. Oh my god. Spooky night lights. Whoa, ghost crocodiles. Okay, the dream ends in that direction. I can't tell- I can't say what kind of dog Milo is, because then people are going to look for him. Because people are weird like that. He's a good dog. He is one of the best. That's all you need to know. Oh, crap. Okay. What kind of dog is Milo? He is one of the best. One of the finest dogs. Oh, saxophone! Go saxophone of my dreams, explain to me, what have I done to wrong you? Alright, let's do a triple jump off the ledge. Two, three, nope, okay. I will not tell you what type of dog Milo is, I'm sorry. If, if some of the cardigans weren't weird, then uh, I would, but the fact is, some of... Some of you people in here know you would go looking for him. You know damn well you would. So, because of that, I can't. How old is he? I don't know. I don't... I haven't been able to cut him open to count the rings. Musician of my dreams. Name a band better than 21 Pilots. I'll wait, says QPYD. Um, what about Steven and the Stevens? They're here to make you smile. Me, myself, and I, and him are all the same guy. Follow the light. Oh, okay, thank you, person who said that. Who said that? Thank you, Drop Drupal Gamings. Drupal Gaming. Drupal Gaming. Oh, hello. I got all the musicians. Awaken the ghost bear. Awaken the ghost bear. Oh shit, what is happening? Space bear nightmare of my dreams. Hey Cardinal, I promise I'm not a crazy person. Just wanted to tell you that I don't know why. Okay. Uh, okay, sure. I'll believe you. Misa Mane says, Hey guys, I can't stay for the stream, but I'm looking forward to watching it later. Have a good night. 
slash vanishes to work. Bye, Misa. Cheers. Carlin sings some Alexander Hamilton. Maybe, maybe later if it comes up naturally. Ovaltine. Man, I was Ovaltine. Checking the internet. Has Gerg come back out of jail? Morning. I'm working today. Angus is out of town and I'm lonely. Okay, bye. Sincerely, Gregory. Alright, well, I guess we're visiting Gerg. Oh. Hey. Oh, oh, hell. I love you, Sharkle. Rap battle me, Cardlin. Girl. Hey, it's Hika. Wow, Hika? Like, Hika, the artist Hika? Hello. Hey, Hika, who's your favorite character so far? I just tuned in. Um, Angus is pretty cool. Dad, you promised. Yeah, Dad put him here, I bet. Dad should move him. It's only fair. Dad, I watched Garbo and Malloy with you. You didn't move the boxes. Checking the clock. Wonder how old this thing is. Checking the ghost book counter. The floating island. Jeez. I'm old. What are you even thinking about in there? Is this time for morning talks with my mama? Hey. Good morning. Did you build it last night? Oh, what? There was a big sinkhole two streets over. Oh, are we still getting those? I don't think those ever really go away. Swampy ground and so forth, and on a blood plain. Oh, weird. I don't want you over there nosing around it. I guarantee you I won't. I have seen sinkholes. No interest at all? Mom, they're just a hole in the ground. Get back to me when, like, when one, like, swallows a house or something. We'll go see together if that happens. Deal. So, what did you do last night? Went to the mall with B. Oh, Port Lucene. Yeah. I haven't been there in years. Oh, sorry. I haven't been there in years, huh? How is it? Kind of falling apart and empty. Yeah, I expect. Everyone just goes to the outlet stores up by the interstate now. For, you know, shoes and things. Well, stop by the church if you're in the area. Will do, Mom. See ya. Mm -hmm. Bye, sweetie. Oh, I love my Filipino mom. Let's go say. Let's go see what else she has to say. Now that you've been home for a few days, yeah. Have you thought about getting a jet? Well, gotta go, mom. Hehe. <laughs> Bye, sweetie. Dang. Already. It's been like four days. Hey, Carlin, finish this song, says Gamer Arts. We are the crystal gems. We'll always save the day. And if we, if we can't, we'll always find a way. That's why the people of this world believe in Cardlin, Amethyst, and Pearl, and Esteban. Cardlin, are you going to take what Ami just said about you? Probably. I don't know what she said. No matter how the wind howls, the mountain cannot move. Is my opinion about whatever Ami just said. Oh, right. Shady Badger guy. Mayberelski. Selmers. Now, we all know how important it is to look our best. What? Our appearance is the first and sometimes last impression we make. Selmers, did you join a cult? 
Lucky for you, I happen to be a licensed dealer. Okay. Of the Sylvam family of products. Summers, I don't have any money. Okay. Are you giving that pitch to everyone? It's horrible, isn't it? I did a video seminar and that's what the woman said. Did she sell anything? Yeah, her neighbor was really appreciative. Sorry. Everyone was smiling and they just kept laughing. Smiling and laughing and looking at hand lotions. We can just smile and laugh if you want. Nah. Want to hear a poem? Sure, yeah. Sometimes I think and start to sink. Oh no. There's more. Sorry. Then I remember it's October. October. I combined my two favorite months. Fall is really nice. It's the best. Okay, it's enough Selmers for one day. What about Bird Person? My cat don't like folks on the porch. Alright, well, jump on your stuff. It is more, like, Halloween-y now than it was when I arrived, huh? I don't know why, but I can see Carlin being all creepy and stuff. Yeah, you know, I should try that. I don't think I've ever tried doing, like, creepy anything. It's a good idea, Aaron Yeager. I think I'll try that sometime. Do you remember the 21st night of October? To be seen at the thing on the other thing, and we're stinking the night away. Hey, mom. Oh, <laughs> hey, mom. Hey, sweetie. I completely forgot where the sanctuary is. Um, you passed the door on your way here. Oh, I thought those were locked. They're locked sometimes. All doors are locked sometimes. Not like saloon doors. Cowboys just walking in and out. That's very rude. The Old West was a very rude time. How the partner? <laughs> I say, I say, this is a powerful rude. <laughs> That's like a southern gentleman. He's cla he's classing the place up. Thank you, mom. Always enlightening. Sanctuary doors. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's K, right? Or Kate? K. K. Hey again. Hey. I forgot her voice, so that's her new voice now. Your mom will be pretty happy you're here. Oh, don't I know it. You're not a church goer. I was when I was a kid. Well, you had to go then. Yeah. I like Sunday school. They give you cookies and orange drink. Is orange drink really the only name for it? Huh. I don't know. I'm realizing I've also been calling it that my entire life. Orange drink. The drink that is orange. When did you stop coming? When my mom stopped making me. When I was like 15 or so. Why? I don't know. All the sitting and standing. Seeing this now, feel this thing now. All the feelings are more suggestions. Doesn't feel like it. Well, I hope you'll maybe come Sunday. Yeah, I guess I haven't seen you preach. Oh, wow. Preach. Kind of has a bad ring to it, huh? Talk. That works. Hey, how are things with the whole Bruce situation? Well... We're praying. 
Gears are turning. But they turn slow. But God can turn any gear they want. And I take comfort in that. I hope it turns out okay. Thank you, man. Hey, listen. You know, if you ever want to talk or have any questions about, like, God, sure. You can always talk to me. It's kind of in my job to scrape down. Okay. And bye. A dry eyes guy. What's that dude's name? Ben. Ben Schneider. He used to have like a TV show on MTV, like a game show. Oh. Le Temple. Oh, lordy. What's going on over here? So you're more of a drifter? Yeah, but it's temporary. Of course. Well, we just wanted to see if you're okay up here. Yeah, Pastor Kate has been very kind. Mind if we see your set up here? Yeah, what do you think, Molly? Uh. Uh. It's fine. That's my Filipino art cop. Uh. <laughs> Alright, Bruce. Yeah. How are you finding Possum Springs? Nice place. Nice people. How long you been in town, Bruce? Been here for a while now. But I was here before, back in the 70s. They were looking for miners, at least for a while. Carlin Casual, XXX, Beta, XXX, got a great Dana named it Brandon. Hmm, <laughs> cool. Pretty impressive. Okay, well, I would love the conversation y'all are having with Bruce. That's cool that people are talking to him, though, like helping him fit into the town. Death. Nope, okay. No death today. Alright, troops, let's move out. Thanks again, Bruce. Thanks, Bruce. Oh, thanks, Bruce. No trouble. So, what's your story? Uh, got no story. Like, where are you from? North here, northeast. Uh, worked on the railroads, worked in mines, worked in construction. How'd you end up here? String of bad luck. Meh. Don't have to talk about it. I never turned down that over. Alright. Well, thank you for sharing, Bruce. Kind of a random question, says Fallen Angel, but does anyone have any advice about school? I'll be starting college in the fall and I'm a bit nervous. Uh, I don't know, I never went to college. Um. Uh, oh, you guys talking shit about Bruce? To the click clack. Yeah, you guys get out of here. You bunch of jerky adults. Um, let's see, um, advice for school. Um, don't sweat it. Remember, you're there f for education, you're not there for the social aspect. So everybody and their opinions and their snotty little clicks and stuff don't matter. But uh, that having been said, there's undoubtedly some cool people that you can be friends with. And uh, you should maybe say hello if you can. Take the chance to be social if you want to. But also know that it's not about being social. It's about getting an education. So uh, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. Hey, hey, hey. What's the matter with you? Oh, right. I have to get some... What was it? I need to get something, some food for my, my rat pets. Bark, bark, bark. Bark, bark, bark. Do I have anything that, like, keeps track of all my quests? 
Miracle rats. That's it. I was supposed to get some food for him or something. I'm starting high school. Any advice? Uh, yeah, same advice. Don't trip. Just go there for the school. Don't get caught up in the social game. After the parade got canned, there wasn't much going on in the spring. But we still did the Easter basket blessing at the church. And ate special pretzels. We didn't bother to bless those. Profane pretzels. Checking on my rat babies. Hello, rat babies. <coughs> Gotta remember to get you guys some fuds. Mallard, dear dead Mallard. You were my favorite anything when I was a kid. I ran to the spring parade to see you. You were like a big beaky dinosaur. Mallard, you're still amazing forever. I'm going to go try and steal a pretzel for my rat babies. Cardlin, I snuck in at work to say hi to you and the other cardigans. Have fun, guys. Thank you, Rihanna. Re Rihanna. Rihanna. I got your name right this time. Rihanna. Not Rihanna. Jump, a jump, a jump. Hey, Ami, how did your stream go? I missed it, unfortunately. Turns out I had something to do, but I hope you all had fun and that it was awesome. I heard y'all played um, Bendy in the Ink Machine. The main character is female, asks Extreme Otaku. Yes, she is. Hey. Oh, right, this guy. Wait, no, no. I forgot this guy's voice. I'm gonna see if that's cool. It's cool. What you doing? Drawing. Okay, what you drawing? You know how in a movie, like a knife will go through someone's eye? Whoa, boy, do I ever. I'm like designing an effect and makeup for that. Fake and real. Wow. I'm working on a horror movie. You're gonna make a horror movie? Ami says, it was fun. Thanks to anyone who stopped by to hear me suffer playing horror games. Yeah, I couldn't do that. But uh, glad you did. Glad y'all had fun. Now, yeah. I mean, someday I could, like, direct it and write it and do the makeup. I have a really good scream, too. Really? <laughs> I want to, like, go to horror movie school. I think they have those. I think they have those. Oh yeah, they're really cool. I already know how to make fake blood and body parts. Sorry, it's probably boring. How in the world could that possibly be boring? I know like all of them. Body parts? Horror movies. Every one? A lot of them. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, I gotta go. See ya. Later. Give me that triple jump. One, two, triples. Nope. Oh, God. Okay, well. Let's go get some food for my ratty rats. Arrgh. Oh, no, no, no. Bagels, or pretzels are this way. I'm glad y'all support each other and, like, hang out with each other, and y'all are awesome with each other. Ami's talking about how some people showed up to her stream, and I'm glad that some cardigans did. Because Ami does good stuff. Hey, Carlin, random question. Says Faye Animates. What's your favorite Filipino snack? Um, does Toknenin count? Because I used to love Toknenin. I'd go nuts for that stuff after school. Give me a second here. Checking something on my phone. Awesome. Now let's go steal 
some pretzels from the lady who don't like me. Bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. See? Okay, 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 May. You're only gonna get one shot at this. Just gotta freeze when he looks over. Even if you're holding a pretzel, no movement. It's simple psychology. You've done this before. You still got it. Easy, easy, easy. Hey, Carlin. You probably get asked this often, but do you ever get hate comments? Yeah, I do. Extreme Otaku asked that. I usually, um, usually if I get a comment like that says something negative about the script or the art, I'll usually delete it. And if it's if they say something bad about the acting too, I'll delete it. Just because I try to keep the place positive and I don't want people to start fighting. Because I know if somebody puts something hateful, a bunch of well-meaning cardigans will jump in to defend me. And then it'll end up just being this whole troll fight. And it just gets ugly. So I just try to delete it before it starts. Plus, I don't like people who insult the script or the art. Especially if I didn't do that. Because, you know, I don't want the people who contributed to feel bad about it either. Okay, go. Hmm? Yoink. Go, 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 go. I am the bandit queen. Gonna go feed my rats with my stolen food. How dare they hate our Cardi Bear. See, exactly. People, y'all mean well, but then these people, they're just trolls for the sake of trolling. And y'all will fight each other and it'll get all ugly and messy. So I try, I try to avoid the... Uh, I try to just... Stop the hate from the get-go when I can. How can anyone hate Cardi Bear? I know, right? People are so mean. Yes, let's go into the house and feed my rats. Whoop. Hey, Carlin. Uh, this is from that rando girl. I'm thinking of writing a script for you this summer, this summer, so wish me good luck on it, please. I really love your videos. Uh, sure, good luck. I'm gonna go not feeling too good. Hope you all have a good day, my lovelies. Ah, Punky Pop, sorry not feeling too good. Alright, my little miracle rats. Time to eat. Arm. Wow, you're hungry. Hmm. Very hungry. Guess I'm your mom now? I don't know if I'm ready to be a mom. Hey, mother of vermin. That's me. Feel better, Punky Pops. Sorry you're not feeling too good. Thanks for the art. You always do the amazing art. I don't know if you all caught the uh, the picture I posted out earlier on social media, but Punky Pop did both of the versions of... Uh, Maidlin? Mardlin? Both of the bear people, she drew them. Rose Stemming says, Carlin, do you have advice for people who are nervous to write a script but want to? Um, you know, I, I oftentimes I'll get these scripts that are like unfinished, or they'll send me a script and it's just like an empty document. They'll be like, it's a work in progress, but that's going to be the script. Um, with all things, it's better to just, you know, play your cards close to your chest you know like don't like don't say that you have something done when it's not done yet you know just like work on the script and if you end up with a good script then send it over but don't send over don't let me know that you have an idea of a script and you're working on it you know because then if you don't if you end up like not have not following through or this idea ends up falling apart and you don't like it then it just looks kind of you know it's not a good look basically you said you were going to do something and you didn't 
and I do that a lot. And that's one thing that I wish I could stop myself from doing. So I say, if you have an idea and you're going to go for it, just go for it. You don't need anybody's approval. You don't need to tell anybody. You don't need to build up hype. Just do it. And then if you end up with something that you think is good, then go ahead and send it over. Otherwise, don't get too caught up on the hype and the nervousness and the you know the excitement of writing a script. Just write a script. Have fun with it. Is my advice. How do I make a script? Asks Aaron Yeager. Well, I actually have a whole video about it, so go ahead and check it out. It's called, So You Want to Write a Script for Me. You just go ahead and just put that in the YouTube search bar. Cardlin Audio, write a script or something. And uh, I have this whole video talking about how to make scripts and what makes a script good, what makes a script bad. That's all there. Hey, is anyone here a really good artist? There's a lot of really good artists in this chat right now, actually. Hey, hey, May May. Totally what's up, dude. I was thinking about going to jail. Like you're planning on going? I think I could break you out. Maybe I should, like, test my skills of escape. I feel like the risk is bigger than any possible reward. Yeah. What brought this up? I had a nightmare about going to jail. My cousin went to jail. My other cousin Jen said it was inevitable. Aw, oh, man, you're not inevitable. I mean, it's not inevitable. No, go back. I am definitely inevitable. The inevitable Greg. Is Angus around today? Nah, he's off doing some stuff. What stuff? Yeah, family stuff. They're not worth talking about. Yeesh. You wanna hang out? Yeah, man, let's roll. Damn straight. Yeah, yeah, uh, chillin' with my boy G-Reg. Mechanics. That's weird. Hey, it's Lexi. The bullet went clean through. You can still see the bullet hole in it. How did that not kill him? He must have missed all the important parts of the brain. Wow. Yeah, Great Great Granddad was pretty tough. But isn't that helmet the fascist? Isn't that the helmet the fascist were wearing? Ah, uh, no. Wrong war. And wrong country. These weren't the bad guys. Read some history. Jeez, okay. When did you learn all this stuff? When people kept saying it was a fascist hat. So, what are we doing? You up for a crime? Boy, am I ever. I mean, I kind of did some last night. Oh, really? Without me? Aw, dude. You're always my number one crime friend. That's beautiful, dude. Well, likewise. Apple Pie says, Hey, Cardlin, I noticed you've stopped putting up vitamin C posts and daily Instagram vlogs on Tumblr. Have you stopped doing them completely, or will you continue them later? No, I haven't stopped them completely. Just like days like today, where I'm doing... Like, I usually do it at 6 o'clock. So if it's 6 o'clock and I'm busy doing something, or if I've already done something that day, like I've already uploaded something that day, or like right now it's about to be 6 o'clock and I'm in the middle of a stream, I probably won't do it. But tomorrow I'll probably do it, because tomorrow I don't have anything planned. Follow me. Yes, dear leader. I am both a leader and a deer. You're not a deer, you're a fox, G-Reg. Rain share cleared up. Oh, are we bashing up cars? Weather moves for us. So what do I need the bat for? Ta-da! Ooh la la. F that car up, Private Borowski. So... You brought me out here to watch me beat up a car? Is this like that thing where people are all hot for car crashes? No, and I don't know that movie. Look it up. Eh. So we need the battery out of this car. What for? That's privileged info, Private. Stop calling me Private. I'm a general, at least. No, I'm the general. I got a hat. War is stupid. Watch it. War got me this hat. Okay, but what if someone needs this car? I think it's safe to say no one's gonna miss it. Yeah, I guess it's got a tree going through it. So we're just beating it until the hood pops open. 
Yeah, just smash it up. Smash it all up. Smash capitalism. Smash the government. Smash this car. Yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna beat you up, car. I'm gonna beat you up so good. Yeah. Bonk, bonk, kabonk, bonk. Smash him, smash, 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 smash. I'm gonna jump on you and do that and do that. And I'm gonna do some of these. I'll bust you till your tires pop. Your trunk comes off. And I'm gonna bust this and I'll bust that. Excellent work. Thank you. I agree. You want to do the honors? Am I going to get electrocuted? Should be fine. The car's got a tree going through it. Probably not electric anymore. Wait, but... Do you want to do it or not? Uh, I do. This is like a car minigame? Oh god. So just grab one of the wires... Grab one of the wires and yank it off. That's super not how this goes. Um, but I forget how it goes. Thanks, I think I can figure it out. Gotta get rid of these leaves first. Uh, I forget how it goes in real life. You're supposed to do the negative or the positive cable first. Um, you know what? Let's Google it. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh, let's ask Google. Okay, Google. When removing a battery, are you supposed to remove the negative cable or the red cable first? <laughs> Whoops. Oh, come on, Google. Okay, Google. When removing a car battery, which cable do you remove first? According to YouTube, disconnect the negative connector once the nut is loosened by pulling it off. Set it aside, away from the battery. Loosen the nut on the positive terminal and disconnect it from the battery. Remove the battery. Being okay, Google, stop. Gotcha. Terminal. Thank you. Let's do this. Negative first. Uh... Ooh, you promised. Maybe that was positive. Yarg. Everybody's saying red wire in chat. Oh my god. Wow. Whoa, am I dead? Is that Sharkle? <laughs> Sharkle. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, Sharkle. What are you doing here? We've been through so much together, mate. The good times, the bad times, the porn at where fiasco. At the weekend you tried to change the operating system. You're right, we have been through a lot together. Sharkle, am I dead? Oh no. Yes. Yes. Are you here to take me to the other side? Yes. As in the old legends, your soul has been weighed against your transgressions. Oh, how did that turn out? <laughs> uh, could have gone better. Aw, oh, frick. I'm sorry, but it's off to hell for you. Dang. Me, Barosky, I declare thee danged. Oh well. You're in good company. Lots of folks been danged. I regret nothing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> uh. Oh shit. You okay? Oh, there you go. Mindly dose of vitamin C alarm. But I can't do it because I'm doing this. Busy. You okay? I think I died. How long was I out? Like, like five seconds? Oh, weird. Time, like, stretches. It's a mysterious universe. We good to go with the battery? You know it. Let's get back to the apartment. I taste pennies. <laughs> I super did that battery wrong. And anyway, even if it was a fascist helmet, it's got an anarchy symbol on it now. 
which makes it good. And there's a bullet hole in it. So whoever was wearing it is dead. And I'm like wearing the trophy. So you admit that it's a fascist helmet. <laughs> no! I don't! Okay, okay. So what are we doing? Okay, so... Wait, question. Shoot. What the hell is that? The thing? Yes, obviously the thing. That animation, though, it's pretty good. Remember those big, like, robot cartoon characters? They used to have it at the food donkey? I do. Oh my god. Is that one of them? Are we gonna put one together? Dude, we totally are. Oh, Greg, you're cool. This is amazing. Where the hell did you get it? You know, Steve Scriggins? The guy who locked the substitute teacher in the supply closet? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Dude, he was stuck in there over the longest night over longest night break. Survived by eating glue and Spanish workbooks. Steve Scriggins gave you this? Yeah, that guy. He's a horrible man. But he's been hanging out at the food donkey since it's been shut down, and he dug it out for me. This that is the first useful thing that Steve has ever done. Okay, 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 okay. What do we do? We need to get this old battery into that old thing. A little drinky drink. Okay, well, this sounds straightforward enough. Kinda. It's full of garbage. It's too bad you didn't cut yourself on it and get a disease. It's too bad you didn't die on the way here. It's too bad the robot wasn't filled with angry snakes and they killed you. It's too bad the elevator didn't fall and squash you like a pancake. Oh, dude, no, that's a phobia. That's one that makes sense, at least. What are we doing again? <laughs> Put the battery in the robots. Oof, this thing smells. That's just how old machines smell. No, like, I think something was living in here. Hey. I've got an idea. Why don't you stop being so negative? Why don't you eat your own neck? That's impossible. Be serious. This is serious business. Oh, well. Well, don't mind me. See, I've already died once tonight. No big deal or anything. What was that night? I, I saw a shark, I think, and it told me something important. What was it? I don't remember. Couldn't have been that important then. True. Okay, let's do that. Snap it. We did it. Go, go, animate robot, go. Rose Stemming says, hey, Carlin, how's your son? He's good. You'll be hearing a lot more about him and all that sometime soon, I think. I have this whole thing planned. Jeez. That looks safe. Are you going to be all boring now? Just because you died for like a whole five seconds? Dude. Come on. Some people have been dead like forever. Do you see them whining? Um, right. They either shut up and deal, or they become ghosts. Are you saying I should become a ghost? Yeah, carpe diem. Carpe diem. Oh, look, it's all fancy in French now. Okay, fine. What are we doing? Now is the best part. We're gonna put this beast together. Do you know how it goes together? We're gonna find out. Cool. May. Sorry. Cool. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> ah, Gurg. Here are all the parts. Wow, so many possible combinations. We can create our own unique metal offspring. So we just clank these together. Yeah, slap them together. Tighten some screws. What did you go wrong? 
I mean, quite a lot. Lots of time stuff goes wrong. Dude, you are no fun. I literally just died. Alright, let's take... This. Okay, so he needs a leggy leg. Um, yeah. And then a long leg. Oh, you can't connect the leg pieces? Okay, okay, no, 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 no. Let's do long legs instead of short legs. Is that permanent now? Okay, sure. Um... Oh, I'm not doing this wrong. Needs more. Oh, these are his feet. Hold on, take off. There you go. Um, hold on. Okay, so. What a good little robot builder I am. No, I put his hand on his foot again. Damn it. Okay. Carlin, will you do more DDLG audios? Yes. Y'all got no chill with those DDLG audios. It's all day requests for more DDLG stuff. To give him a knife, of course. And a bottle, of course. Or is that a shovel? The highest and most refried memes from Katie. I don't know where the can goes. What? I don't know. Okay, no can. Yes! He's beautiful. He's perfect. Our beautiful boy. Our robot son. So, like, this is pretty great and all. But remind me, why do we just put a bunch of garbage together in your living room? And connect it to a stolen car battery that's already leaking acid on the carpet, I think. I don't know. Since you've been back in town, I think I missed Greg a few of a few years ago. Hmm? Like, these days I mostly work all the time, but... Why are you working so much? We got plans. What plans? Bright Harbor. Bright Harbor? When? Uh, a year or so now? That's why we were working like seven days a week. But when are you moving? I think in the spring? That's like a few months away. Yeah. Oh, okay. You should come visit when we get settled in. Dang, she's salty. Come on, may be happy for your friend. Why Bright Harbor? Oh, man, it's so cool. We visited in the summer. There's, like, record stores and weird bars. And everyone's cool and, like, free. Oh. That's where I got my tattoo. What? Yeah. Sheep. <laughs> Is that a sheep? Yep. 
Why a sheep? Uh, the tattoo guy was like all the way hot. And it didn't even hurt. You have a tattoo. You're moving to Bright Harbor. Yeah! Oh. Okay. Alright, anyway. Yeah, like I was saying. Now that you're back in Possum Springs, I was like, Hey, let's do some crime together. Oh, dude. Yeah. Hap. So I was thinking about how to to use that for, like, good. So I thought I'd bring this here for Angus. That's beautiful, dude. I'm sure he'll love it. I hope so. Okay, so... Yeah, all we need to do now is turn it on. Ooh. Ooh. I want to push the button. Let me push the button. Let me do it. Dude, it's the least I could do. For my best friend, back from the dead. Pizza party next time I die and come back. Dude, that is such a deal. Sweet. Oh, God. This side smells even worse. Wow, things... Wow. Things got all... Awkward in chat. I don't know what everybody's talking about, but some awkward stuff. <laughs> Anyways. Switching topics back onto the game. Hope whatever was living here... In this... Hole. Okay, I think I see it. Push it, push it, push it. Hey, I'm glad you and Angus have this whole, like... Life together. Thanks, dude. We've worked hard. That's sweet. Push it, push it, push it. Okay, 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 okay. Remove the thing, and then you push the button. Oh no, I died again. Yark! Yeah! Whoa! It lives! <laughs> Craig. What the? I. Hey, Angus! How's it going, mate? Good. I didn't die this time. You... Good, good. I'm only gonna lay here for a while, if that's okay. Okay. Dang, May, like, loves dying. He's really good at it. Dad, you said you'd move the thing. Dad, I watched the TV, you said you'd move the thing. How's work? You know, better than a glass factory. Is it? I mind, I brown machines. But now I get to slice the steaks. And hock salamis. I mean, it's better on the back, that's for sure. But like, do you like it? I like having a paycheck. Fair. Paychecks, the sweetest meats of all. Oh, two dollars from Deborah Ostrander. Thank you so much. That looks so creepy, Carlin. Lol. <laughs> it does. Wait, what does? Anyways, thank you. Oh, you know, stuff. Tired. I feel like I just did a day's work. You know, there are places you can get paid for work these days. Oh, really? Yeah, they call it working. Huh, you kids with your slang. Thank you, by the way, Deborah. Thank you for your donation. Slang, you could pay up at work. Okay, yes, point made. Um, what about those boxes I asked about? In the crawl space? Hmm, I'm thinking about it. Watch some TV with me? Yeah, for a little bit. Perfect timing. Garbo and Malo are starting. Ah, uh, yes. Here we go again. Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. 
Oh, yes. You know we like to get political here. Oh, I gotta do it. Gotta. You hear about this new law in the books? Pirating a movie online, you know about that? I do. Punishable by up to 10 years in prison. Wow, and here I've been trying to get in the hard way. He has, folks. I wonder if pirating a movie about first degree murder earns you more prison respect than one about grand larceny. Hey, Mallow. You know what I think about that law? Hey, Grandma. That's a whopper. <laughs> Coming up next, stupid sandwiches. Gotta love Garbo and Malloy. Always a pleasure, Dad. Now move the boxes. I have a feeling there's something epic in that crawl space. Gonna go check the internet. Ooh, Milo. Oh, dang, everybody talking to me. See what BS say first. Hi, my. You'll work. Sure am. What's up? Nothing. Watching TV. What are you watching? It's a true crime show. Is that any good? No, the reenactments are terrible. But if they were good, I'd like actually feel bad for them. As it stands, it's just like bad local commercial actors. Pretending to murder or be murdered. I love those shows. They're the best. <laughs> Always. Always a pleasure, B. Rose Stemming says, Cardlin, how did you get so good at voice acting, though? Have you taken classes or anything? Uh, no, I've not. I just watch a lot of cartoons, and I'm a person with very little shame when I'm anonymous online, so I can make a total fool of myself and not feel weird about it until afterwards. <laughs> hey, punk. Are you still electric? No, I think it's gone now. Hold on, let me touch something metal. Okay, I touched my futon, my futon frame and we're good. Good work, Dr. Science. Does Angus like the robot? I think so. He's just kind of looking at it. Hold on, I'll ask him. Okay, he says to say thank you. So I think that means he likes it. All right, dude, I'm turning in. Me too. See you later. Who's that again? Hey, May. Sorry, I forgot his voice. Um, hold on. Um. Hey, May. Are you alright? I was afraid you were really hurt. And you left so quickly. I'm good, big guy. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Ah, oh, I appreciate it. Try not to almost die anymore tonight. No promises. <laughs> My voices are a little off. I just woke up from a nap. I didn't get to warm up my voice or anything. So that's probably it. Also, I visited my grandpa earlier. So there may have been a little bit of crying. Yay! <laughs> oh, Sharkle, you always make everything better. Let's go to sleep. Bedtime. Yes time. More weird dreams, please. dreams. So that means there must be four more things I have to get, just like last stream. Jump. Nope. Okay. Fair enough. Follow the lights. There's one. Tuba lion. Is that a lion? Tuba bear? Visiting your grandpa was probably worth it. Yes, it definitely was. 
It's always a pleasure seeing the old man. Jump! I'm on. Okay, fair. Cardlin to a Cartman impression. You serious, you guys? I'm super serious. Hey. Here's another musician. We got violinist bird. Let's see what's down here. Can I go down? Yes, let's go down. Dang, we're pretty far. Drowning. Nope, okay, running on water. Sweet girl too says she has to go. Bye, sweet girl too. Thanks for coming out. XX Beta X X X says Do a Batman impression. Carlin, do you watch Bob's Burgers? asks Rose. Yes I well I did. I I haven't seen the last couple seasons, I think. But yeah, I used to watch I watched the first two or three seasons pretty thoroughly. Gamer Art says Hey, Cardolin, can you do your best Hanzo impression? <laughs> Princess Ami Audio says, I'll pay someone to draw Cardolin and as Pink Guy and me as Idubs. That would be freaking great. Hey, boss, can I uh, have some of the boss, please? I'm convinced that when he does that, when he does that voice, he's like. Mimicking some Filipino friends he has or something. Because that's a super Filipino voice. Oh. I think that's all of them, right? Cardlin, South Park or Archer? I don't like to choose. Don't, don't make me choose between things because then people will be like, Oh, you like this more than this? What? How can you possibly? What's wrong with just, just like both? Why, do you have, why does everything have to be ranked? Try an impression of Tina. Oh, uh, no, I can't. Um. Oh, but I no, I don't think I. Mm, I don't know if I have if I can do a good Tina. I don't know if I have that the requisite deadpan. There we go. Now that we've made the ghost band, we finished the dream premise. Hey! Oh, now it's a squirrel. Giant squirrel. Consume everything, giant squirrel. Yes! Cardlin, who do you main on Overwatch? Asks Rosie Ray 557 uh, Mostly Mercy and May. Mostly May. You missed the light, Carlin. Does that matter? I did? I thought I got four. Crap. Uh, I hope it doesn't matter. Shoot. Guess we'll see when I get the super bad ending. <laughs> Awaken. May, you need to, like, shower and change. B says... Hey, uh, I'm at work all day. Just saying, if you want to say hello. Prince Tommy Audio says, there's Cardlin. I don't know why she said that. Oh, because she means Mercy and I'm not allowed to play Mercy, probably. I am here to be helloed at... Update. The robot smells a little weird. Not sure what we missed there. Anyway. Hey, boyo. I work all day. Very bored. Work sucks. Crap Falcon, more like it. I think the game is like trying to make me choose between B and Greg. 
I don't know if I can do both, and it's kind of like a dating sim in the sense that it makes me choose between both of them. I'm not sure if that's the point of the game, but that's what I'm kind of getting so far. Dad, move the boxes! Ami, when we play, you can always play Mercy, I promise. I will never play Mercy when we play. Mercy is entirely yours. But I do play Mercy a lot, that having been said. Yawn. Morning. Long night. Yup. Remember those big robot things from Food Donkey? Mm hmm. You were scared of those. Cried your little eyes out. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Mm hmm. I don't remember this at all. Mm hmm. You okay? Yeah, just been doing boring adult stuff. What kind of adult stuff? I'm adult stuff. Mm. Mm? Just like budget bills, numbers. A lot of adulthood a lot of adulthood is number stress. That sounds bad. I'm bad at numbers. Oh I remember. <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna head out. Mm-hmm. Have a nice day. Dang, I think my parents are low-key trying to get me to get a job to help pay bills. And probably so I'm not just a slacker just doing nothing all day. Numbers, numbers, numbers. That's it. Dang. My parents are like, alright, get a job, slacker. Run around having wacky adventures all day while we work and pay for your room and board. Dang. I'm mad he's not sharing. Oh, because someone had ramen. Let's talk to weird Selmers again. Totally what's up, Selmers. You know what's good. Off the top of my head? Not seriously injuring someone during your first Christmas at senior prom? Um, I was gonna say those fruit snack things. Whoa, $2 from Sin O. Oh. Says, I have $2 that I can't use, so here you go. Thank you so much, Sin O, oh, for your lovely donation. We used to eat at, we used to eat in grade school. Oh, right, yeah, those are really good. Did that other thing happen to you? Nope. Wanna hear a new poem? Always. Sure. Sometimes I like fruit snacks out by the train tracks. Decent. A juice box and headphones. I enter the juice zone. Jeez, those are all, those are like all I want now. You made them sound so real. I can taste the, autom the atomic dino snacks and the blue clear squeezer thanks <laughs> later Selmers let's see what's up with bird person donations here go to Carlin Audio yes they do when I do donations on charity days they go to different charities we do that once a month otherwise they just go to helping me out with stuff thank you so much You're gonna make my dog anxious. And she poops a lot when she's anxious. Okay. Fair enough. Hey, kids, we're being kids. How come there's only like four types of animals? Okay, five. This is loading for a weirdly long time.
person fishing in the sewer. Life long gone, kids don't care, tunnel fish are always there. Ha <laughs> yeah man. Oh god, please don't listen. Gonna steal a pretzel for my favorite rat babies. Can't believe they've kept this open. Historical note, I guess. I think it's just because the old people like the pierogi stand. Never underestimate the ability to, of old people to get state funding. True that. I bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. Stealing for the rat babies. This game makes it seem like it's so easy to steal, but it's super not. Do not steal things, people. Get in the hang of this. That was extremely fucked up, said somebody in chat. Stealing all the pretzels I can from my beloved rat babies. There's a raccoon, just chilling on the ground. Where'd it go? Aw, I missed it. Stealing is wrong. Do not steal, everybody. Stealing is wrong. But May is already like a bona fide, like, crimer. So, as a top leading crime person, she has already lost. I'm just basically being in character. There's a weird roof guy there? Cool. Let's go feed my rat babies. Aw, Lexi and I'm gonna get pretzels. I want pretzels. They'll never take me to go get pretzels. Feeding my babies. All right, my little miracle rats. Time to eat. Eat it. One more, one more, one more. One more, one more, one more. Yes. Oh, there's more of you today. You need more food. Yes, you do. Come to SoCal, and I will make you pretzels, says Ami. Says Lexi. I am... Um, it's pretty tempting. I might just do that. I'm going to be there anyway with uh, with my son come Comic-Con time. Let's go see what's up with Roof Guy. Hey, kid. What you up to? Hey, adult. Nothing. Sounds good. I was gonna go down to the tracks. Did you want to come? Sorry if that sounds boring. You don't have to go. It's okay. <laughs> Jeez, let me answer before you decide I said no. Okay, okay. Did you want to go? D actually, I... Mm. Uh... Whoa. Lexi just gave me $4 and she said, I will buy y'all both some pretzels. Thank you so much, Lexi. I'm going to go get some pretzels tonight. Sure. You know what? Let's go to the wacky thing. Oh, good. Yeah, it'll be fun. Let's rock. <laughs> what is May's life? Just like, let's go to anywhere with anyone because I have nothing to do. Wow. Been a while since I've been here. My house is like three minutes from here. Got the longest night lights up from last year still up. Whoops. <laughs> Thank you, Lexi. Uh, someone on my street does that, too. We got pumpkins last year, and we left about too long. And they, like, liquefied. 
Oh yeah, I remember that happened with ours one year. My mom was so mad at my dad. It was his job to get rid of him. He had to like mop it up. Right, let's change this guy's voice. It sounds too similar to everybody else's voice. Let's make him like a quick nervous guy. I see like a time lapse video of when a corpse decays and like everything liquefies. We're all goo deep down. Yep. Okay, so like the cool thing to do is squish a metal thing on the tracks. Like, I like that a lot. Cool. I brought a little metal dude. Let's see what happens. Sounds good, kid. <laughs> I come out here at night. I come out here at night sometimes and fall asleep between the tracks. That sounds dangerous. I feel excited and I can sleep. Can you ever have that? Or you're so excited you go to sleep? I have stressed dreams if I'm too keyed up. I don't remember my dreams. Sometimes I fall asleep for like five minutes. But sometimes it's for like an hour. Alright, I keep forgetting I changed his voice. That's some risky business there. This is super weird. This is super not okay. Everybody at home, don't do this. Please. I have weird thoughts. Like, sometimes I want to go to sleep in the woods. Or in the basement of an abandoned house during the day. And only come out at night. And be, like, a monster. And, like, beautiful. Those are, like, really attainable dreams. Oh, haha. <laughs> I'm not beautiful. Oh, you're fine. No one your age likes how they look. I'm objectively gross. Way less gross than I was. Do you think? Guaranteed. <laughs> this is super like one of those one of those like indie movies like Garden State. Oh, this is super not okay. Yikes. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see what we got. Whoa. Yay. Your little metal guy's all... Wow. He represents the human soul. Deborah Ostrander has delivered $2 and wants me to give the public service announcement of no playing on train tracks, please. Nobody play on train tracks. Rose Stemming has a question. Hey, Carlin, what do you do as comfort or something when you're having social anxiety? I struggle with it, too. Um, sometimes I just let it win. Sometimes I'm just like, all right, I'm just not going to go to this thing. If I feel like I'm going to be nervous too much, I just don't go to it, and I make peace with that, you know? Or sometimes, if I have to go to it and there's no backing out, I'll just uh, make peace with that, too. I'll just, like, play some chill music, kind of just, like, maybe sing a song I know or something, and then just uh, just go. You know, realize that it's not going to be that bad, and after a couple of hours, it'll be over. Yeah. He represents the human soul. This is important art. Ah. Uh, well, I gotta get rolling. Okay, 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 okay. Let's roll. You know, I bet, I bet Rat Kid is gonna remember that for like a long time. See, uh. Lordy M. Horror movies, trains. What a strange game this is. It's like playing an indie movie. Yeah, you definitely gotta get in the mindset for going to a thing you don't want to go to. You just gotta, like, eat it, basically. Just be like, you know what? It'll be fine. In a couple hours, it'll be over. I'm gonna go, there's some people I like, even if not, there's my phone I can always hang out with. You know, just have a plan. Go in knowing that there's a way out. What is up with your boy, Angus? Hey, May. Hey, Angus. How's Video Land? Good, good. Start of the Halloween rush. Got a pretty good horror section. Nice. Got a favorite. What, horror movie? Yeah. Black Oaks. 
Oh, nice. Witchy. Yeah, it's witchy as hell. And scary. Yeah, that one's like... Historical. The witchy version. Well, see you later. Bye. Go to Langus. Who's Michael in the bathroom by himself? Is that what is it a reference to? I feel like I should know that. What's up, random new person? Hey, CJ? Yeah? Um, let's say another voice. Yeah. You were like in high school when I was in middle school. Oh, huh. Did I know you? Used to play nerd games with Tom Bramwell. Across the street from my house. Ha, huh, nerd games. That's quite a memory you got there. Do you live here anymore? Nah, just back visiting. For nerd games? They were like pen and paper role playing stuff. Cool. But no, I'm just visiting family. Husband's driving down tomorrow. What do you do now? Lawyer. Oh, wow. Can I ask you some law stuff? Well, I'm not acting in a professional capacity, but yeah, sure. What's the best way to get out of jail? Well, it depends on the situation. You see, like, would you dig through a wall, through the wall, or like, attack a guard and take their pants and identity? Or like, I don't know, just cause a riot or something? Huh. What's the best prison gang? Like, if you had to pick. You know, we don't really learn this kind of stuff in law school. What is the point of like going to college if you don't learn useful stuff? Useful shit. Laws are pretty useful. Useful my ass, CJ. Sorry, welcome back. Have a nice visit. Bye. Uh, see ya. Man, you're so awkward. You are the most awkward, me. Sonny again, thank goodness. What's got you down? There's nothing. Hey, uh, ghost melters, right? Yeah, ghost melters. Ghost melters. People are leaving. Bye, people who are leaving. Thank you for coming. Is there anything down here that I missed? Nope. Should I get more food for my my rats? Mm, maybe tomorrow. One a day is fine. Oh, what's that? Amazing to think these things used to run. Kind of amazing they're still down here, too. No way to get them out of here, I guess. This place sure was something a long time ago. Alright, something better... Something exciting better happen in the next 15 minutes, because that's all we got left on the stream. Alex Brown says, I spiritually connect with way right down to this small towniness. Right? I used to live in um, a small town out in the East Coast, and uh, yeah, it's, I kind of get the similar vibe, you know? But then again, it probably also has to do something with, like, you know, growing up. The fact that we don't do goofy stuff no more. So, how did that arm get here? Someone just running down the street. Whoops, my arm fell off. Let's come back for that later. That was kind of weird. Hey, it's Gerg. Hey, hey, hey. Hi. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Whoa, what's up with you? I want to do something. Okay, wow. You have a near-death experience or something? This job is one long near-death experience. So do 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 do. You want to do something, something, something? Uh, can't today, dude. Oh, let's do something. Yeah, man, let's go. Ow! Hanging out with my friends. Wounds with Greg. That's not a cool s name for a segment. <laughs> Cool, riding bike to the countryside, because why not? Can't press anything, no I cannot. Oh, I don't like, why is this called Wounds? Why is it called Wounds, though? 
Don't, don't, do not, do not, do not, do not, do not. Ah. Take a moment to think, I just... I forgot the words, but... I Izumi Hanjinozuka. I started singing one of my favorite songs from Steven Universe. What's the word? It's take a moment to think of just something, something, love, and trust. I keep thinking the word responsibility, but I know it's not that. Am I supposed to do something? Pressing the buttons. Nope. Yeah, I guess we're just riding the bike. Oh, they didn't crash the bike. Okay, why well, was it called Wounds then? Jesus. No, it's like a kit you can get off the internet. German, we put it together. So it's a motorcycle now. No, it's like a motorized bike thing. It's different. Why don't you just get a dirt bike again? I'm an adult now. I ride a bike. So, like, where are we? The woods. Hey, just like in the title. Flexibility, says Princess Sami Audios. It's true. Kira, save two dollars. Thank you so much, Kira. She says, flexibility, love, and trust. That's true. That's what it is. Take a moment to think of just flexibility, love, and trust. Take a moment to think of just flexibility, love, and trust. Here comes a thought. Doom, 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 doom. Thank you, Kira. Are we, am I also doing this? Oh, is this where I get the wounds? Crack. Log bridge to Valhalla. Cross and die, mortal. This log is going to snap and we're going to break our legs. And have to crawl back into town. Or die of, like, bears and cold. Remember when we used to knife fight? Hey, <laughs> yeah. We go home with, like, cuts all over our hands. So dumb. Well, I... What? I got knives. Right now, I'm just saying. Holy shit. Yeah, you're on. Do not. First of us all three times loses. Come get cut, Gregor. Say goodbye to your fingers. No, do not. No, do, do not. Do not do this. Why am I playing this on stream with the young people in it? Um, everybody at home, do not fight your friend with knives. Do not fight your friend. Do not use knives. Both of those things. God. Stammy wants shame on you. Stammy thrice, shame on ye eyes. Okay, 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 okay. First one to whistle out three times. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Stop, stop stalling. On guard. Get stabbed. Holy shit, holy sh- Oh, fuck. Ooh, ooh. Oh my god, I'm stabbing my friend. Oh my god, oh my god, don't stab me. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Stab my friend. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh God! Oh, friend, stop! Oh my God! Oh my God! Stop! 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 Okay, jeez, can we stop? Can we not do this? This is not okay. Like I feel super uncomfortable right now. <laughs> uh, laugh now! Laugh now! Won't be laughing when I gut you. Oh no, my poor guts! Try not to stab a tree inside instead of me. Okay, 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 okay. Ready, ready, ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Go, 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 go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is so not okay. Ah, oh, stop. Stop, friend. This is not friend thing. Ah, uh, friend. Okay, okay. Jesus, stop. Fuck. Ugh. Jeez, you okay, dude? No, I am not okay. We can stop. No, again. Okay, 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 okay. Ready, 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 ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool. Go, 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 go. Ow, 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 don't do that. Ow, stop, stop. Friend Greg. Friend Greg. Please. Ow. Ah, why are we doing this? Ah. You okay? No pity, Greg. No pity. Okay, okay, okay. Ready, ready, ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Go, 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 go. Oh, shit. Stop doing this. 
don't ever do this, please. Please, everybody at home, please. Pro oh, God. God. Oh, sorry for winning. Okay, I might be done. That really hurt. Really? No. Let's go. One last time. Oh, Greg. Prepare to die. He has to ride the bike, you ding-dong. Ready, ready, ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Go, 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 go. Shit. Shit, shit. Shit. Oh, stop stabbing your friend. Shit. Okay, okay, we're done. We're done, okay? All right, I'm actually done. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Do you need me to, like, call your mommy? Yeah. Tell her that her precious boy got stabbed in the woods. This was always how it was going to end for us. One of us. Okay, well, that's probably enough stabbing for today. All this blood gonna attract predators. Good point. What the fuck? Y'all, don't do that. Don't ever do that. Don't ever do that. <laughs> Wait, why did you have two knives? Huh, good question. Uh, let's break this log. With the knives? No. This is probably going to kill us. Nah, dude. Good point. I think I'm a bad influence on Greg's life. Like, he was fixing everything together with Angus, and then I come back in, and he becomes his old self, and he's doing dangerous things in the woods that I'm sure Angus wouldn't like. I think I'm ruining my friends' lives slowly. I think that's what's happening. Oh god. <sighs> Rose Stemming says, Carlin, since you're a dad, do you ever give like fatherly advice when it comes to people younger than you? Yeah, all the time. People older than me, people younger than me, people give me advice. All the time. Jeez. Yeah, man. I was thinking, yeah. Like, if you see a rotting tree or a log or something in the woods, or, like, there's ice and a big rock, like, you have to kick the tree over or break the ice. Like, I can't not do that. Yeah. Hmm. The, like, feel of... It's different now. Because I was here. Yeah, okay, yeah. That makes sense. These woods will never be the same, man. I changed them. We changed them. Butterfly effect. Dude, someone's gonna die or get born because we broke that lock. Crap, man. Yeah. Stop. Uh. Can we not do crazy things? What the fuck, Greg? <laughs> what the shit? Shoot. I was gonna say, I'm surprised you still have that. Yeah, well, hunting wasn't my thing. But I mean, dude, like, what isn't fun about this thing? Did you ever go? No, my dad wasn't into it. Granddad was, but he definitely saw it as a guy thing. Hmm. I was pretty annoyed by that at the time. Really? Think you would've liked it? Probably, actually. I'm like, just buck hunting or something. Season starts day after tomorrow. Yeah. Well, anyway. I would have liked to have been asked, at least. You want to shoot this guy? So, like, what's going on here? The forest god. Like, in this story? Yeah. Looks like you just stuck a bunch of targets and decoys together. You work. Bang, bang. With what you got. You want to shoot it, dude? Um, Yes. You should go stand in front and I'll, like, shoot over your head. Dude. 
Okay, okay, fine, give me it. Wow, this is heavier than I expected. Right? So make sure you pull back before you release the trigger. Did I just shoot whatever? Not at me. Alright. Uh, how do I do this? Do not shoot the birds. What else is there? Is there anything else weird? Bam. Hmm. It's not firing. Oh, you just have to hold the trigger down for long enough first. Okay, so just hold it down, huh? Ah, oh, way over. Well, that shot sure went far. Quality over quality. Ooh, headshot. Brain shot. All right, let's shoot him in, in the tuchus. Ouch, right in the tail. Let's try and go for the target. Jeez, that's impossible. Hunt that beast! Hunt it! Keep waiting for it to chill. F uh, this is what life is. My bloodlust cannot be sated. The hell does sated mean? Dude, this is like 8th grade vocab test shit. Let's go for another headshot. Dude, you brained it. I surely did. I'm out of bolts. It's cool. This is fun. I can take on, like, vampires now. You could. You could. Vampires of Possum Springs. They're out there. Shiny teeth. Shiny as the night. <laughs> These guys are cool friends. Okay, enough shooting for one day. I'm gonna jump on the thing. One, two, three. Nope. So. What the hell was that? Yeah, that's been happening lately. What has? Electrical stuff. Like me, bas like me basically dying twice last night? Nah, I think that's on you. Hmm. So I don't want to be nosy, but you seem a little up and down today. Yeah. It's a thing. I mean, it's been a thing in general lately, but... I'm... I'm a good person, right? Sure. Uh, I don't know. What's up, man? Try really hard. Angus, like, needs me. He needs a Greg. Badly. We all need a Greg. Yeah, but with Angus, he hasn't had the best life. His family is, like, pure trash. How so? Just like assholes. Really stupid assholes. Aw, 
Oh, this is really, this is actually really beautiful, guys. I just don't ever want to lose him. Not ever. Oh, this is really beautiful. I don't know what I do. I don't want to screw this up. Are you two doing all right? Yeah, I, I think. We've had some arguments lately. About what? Ah, uh, stuff. But I'm just parking lot trash. I've known that all along. I've got like no future if it was just me. When I'm awake at night, I listen to Angus snore. And I stare at the ceiling. I think about how I'm a complete piece of shit. Aw, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> like I want to do an audio about Greg now <laughs> it's beautiful I've done audios where like Cardlin is the one saying this kind of stuff you know but like to his sleeping Angus I guess <laughs> and 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 Greg Greg calm down dude you're good and Angus is good. Yeah. Angus is good. Nice, smart, hot, cool dude. Down to chill, etc. Greg, etc. And, you know... He's got that ass. Oh my god, thank you for finally saying it. It's a fantastic ass, right? Fantastic. Okay, I'm not comfortable. Will you object to finding my boyfriend? Only his ass. And who could blame you? I forget what I was gonna say. I don't know. Probably worried about nothing. I have really up up days and really down down days. And I don't know what shit is until it's over sometimes. I kind of coast through in general blah right now. <laughs> this is... This is really beautiful. This is like some really real shit. Like this is... Like, <laughs> like people have these conversations. People have these thoughts. And that's okay. And you know, caring and worrying shows that you care. But just you gotta worry. You just gotta remember that worry... That's all worry is good for. For reminding yourself that you care. Reminding yourself that you... You know, you think about consequences because they matter to you. Like, when I have... When I worry about... <laughs> I'm gonna start crying here. But, uh... <laughs> Excuse me. You know, I, I have thoughts similar to Greg sometimes. And I, I know y'all love Cardlin. Y'all think I'm the best, but, you know, I'm not always the best. I'm just a normal person in my ups and downs. And I, uh, I worry about my relationship too, but that just means that it matters a lot to me, and I use that as a reminder that it is important, she's important to me, and instead of using it, instead of using the worry as an anchor to hold me down and make me say, like, you know, like, if it's just gonna fall apart, or if there's a chance that things can fall apart, don't even try, instead I use it as a, uh, I use it as inspiration to, to try harder and be worth it for. And, uh, you know, I try and go to sleep every night thinking, am I worthy of this life I have? Am I worthy of these people who love me? My girlfriend, my son, my family. You guys? All you cardigans? <sighs> and there are good days and there are bad days, but 
I try to let the <laughs> I try to fight hard so that they're more good than bad. <laughs> I was not expecting to be so emotional from this silly game about cats and foxes in the woods fight. They just like they just like had like a stab fight a couple of minutes ago. And now I'm crying over uh, video games. God, I love video games. I love the emotions video games can draw up. I haven't been reading chat specifically because I'm sure y'all are being super supportive and it'll just make me cry more, but thank you all so much. And, um, uh, yeah, thanks for being here. Oh, Kira. Kira donated $5. She said it's okay to cry. You're really good. <laughs> She says, you're really good to us, and we appreciate that. I don't know what else to say now. I'm crying. <laughs> Sorry, Kira. Didn't mean to make you cry. And Zemper Ostrander gave $2, and she said, Wow, well, Cardi, you're amazing, and I'm sure she sees it. <sighs> Thanks, Deborah. Ah, jeez, we're going over. We're over by eight minutes. I'm going to cut this part out of the video when I upload it. This part didn't happen. This whole scene didn't happen. I love you all. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody in chat. Thank you all. Mary says, You are more than worthy and deserve every good thing in life. Never forget this. You are awesome. Reiko Kuchiki says, Hey, we all have a Greg moment, and this is normal. We know you're not perfect. We know it. And this is why we love you, because we know it is possible for you to be better and stronger. Thank you, Reiko Kuchiki. So I am Jellica, donated $2, and she said, You deserve everything that you have. You guys are so awesome. I'm so lucky to have you. Thank you so much. All right, like Greg, I'm gonna quickly change the subject here. What kind of birds are those? I have no idea. Hey, bird. Northern dumbfowl. Eastern skinny bird. Do they fly south? Do you want me to make something up? Yeah. Yes. That's good. That's real good. <laughs> Sweet Girl 23 says, What scene are you talking about, Cardi? What scene? The scene that never happened. There's no lake in this whole game. It never happens. Ah, that was beautiful. And also, the perfect scene to end on. <sighs> Actually, let's have a little talk with Dad. Maybe finish up on some Garbo and Malloy. Let's end on a positive note. Kira just gave $2. And she said, don't cut this part out. It's powerful and sweet. All right. Whew. I won't. I won't. Oh, wow. That was unexpectedly intense. <laughs> it's an emotional day. I went to go see my grandpa this morning. I'm probably still feeling all emo. <laughs> Oof. What's up? Long day. Yeah, same here. How socializing? Surprisingly tiring sometimes. Yeah, that's why I don't do much of it. Any idea what was up with mom today? Oh, she's just stressed. That's vague. Haha, <laughs> well, I hate to be the one to break it to you, but you spend a lot of adulthood being vaguely stressed. Ah, oh, dang. I thought the stress would at least get more specific. Oh no, you'll have that too. Hmm. Tit up, kiddo. You saw it alive. Gee, thanks, Pop. So how about those crawl space boxes? Yeah, okay, I'll move them. DB time? Yeah, for a little bit. Ooh, alright. Let's see if I can still do their voices. And we're back. Great crowd in here tonight. We never leave too long, folks. Say, Garbo. Yeah, my lord? Cats just mind me of our early days. I disagree. None of them are angry and drunk. Hey. Most of them, anyway. Yeah, I mean, those old nights, those good nights. Just the heat of the stage lights and the thrill of winging it. And the gentle thump of an empty beer bottle thrown at your head. Ha 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 ha. These things are pretty cushy. You think we're getting soft? 
You sure are. We're in the midsection. That's a whopper. <laughs> Malloy, it's company policy to never body shame. Oh, I never worry about that, Carbo. Why is that, Malloy? I'm what you call body. I'm what you call body shameless. Hey. <laughs> Coming up next, Carbo and I go to counseling. <laughs> All right. Well, good night, Dad. Hmm. I didn't get us to visit B today. Hey, B. You there? Yes, sir. What are you up to? Doing budget stuff for the shop and watching music videos from the edits. Those are the exact things you'd be doing if you were like 20 years older than you are. Well, someone had to take over for my mom. I'm just being thorough. I'm just being thorough. Well, you're doing a good job. Thanks. Gonna get back to work. Night night. Rose Stemming says, Cardlin, I'm not in a relationship or anything, but I could feel your pain as you were crying. I know you're not perfect, but I still love you and appreciate what you do. Aw, uh, well, I hate to break it to you, but I wasn't crying. That whole thing didn't happen. The whole last 20 minutes or so of our lives just didn't exist. Yeah. Hey, kid. Hey, yo. Thanks for hanging earlier. No prob, dude. How's your knifed up hand? I'll have. Angus fixed me. Aw, uh, good boyfriend. Yeah, he's a keeper. Sorry I was a bummer there at the end. It's fine, dude. Seriously. I just... Yeah. Get some sleep, man. Will do. Night, brah. And it's ended with some good old-fashioned... Sharkle, darkle, sparkle, narkle. Hey. 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 <laughs> All right. We're going to close it up, and we'll start the next video by going to sleep and having a weird dream. Anyways, I love y'all. We did go over a bit. We're over by about 14 minutes, actually. 15 minutes, probably by the time this ends. Um, thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for putting up with my weirdly emotional rant there at the end. And thank y'all for... Oh, wow. Just thanks for everything, you know? Y'all are making my dreams come true. Y'all are letting me live my dream life. Y'all are making things happen. And even as I continue to grow and do more things, y'all are always there. So, thanks for being here and for being cool. And for, uh, yeah, hanging out. Anyways, you all have a good one. Good night. How do I turn off the thing? All oh, right, here. <laughs> Take it easy, y'all. Bye. Um, also, uh, if you want to hang out on the Discord, you totally can and should. Ami and Lex are there, as are a bunch of other people, and it's just a cool place to hang out during the day if you want to talk to other cardigans and keep the positive cardigan happinessness going. All right. Take it easy, y'all. Uh, Ami's about to post the link in chat to the Discord. Bye!